Hello, and welcome to this review of DX Atlas. I'm Michael, KF4BOG. Glad to have you with us. Today we're going to talk about DX Atlas. This program, I just happened to stumble upon it yesterday, and thank you so much to the creator of the program for allowing me to review it today. One of the things that I like about this program is its ability to zoom in on a location and put place markers. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that for you. So if I go ahead and I zoom in on a location, go to the United States, and I zoom in a little more, you can see that I could put a place mark right on Alabama. I could stick a pin there. I love that. I love I can stick a pin there. The other thing is these different little things where these different tabs where you can say islands, cities, or prefixes. You can actually tell it where to search. Um, I haven't done the islands yet. Um, I've done the prefixes, and I've looked at the cities. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, the fact that it does that is a major plus. Uh, the other thing I like is the gray line uh, deal where it will show you which uh, location is night, which one is day, all that kind of stuff. It's, um, it's really cool because one of the things I like to know is like, okay, which part of the world is, uh, you know, has morning basically or daytime. And, uh, right now you can see uh, the U.S. is in the daytime zone right now. Um and you can see which places are in dark right now. Basically, they're nighttime. So to me, it's a great uh, tool to know, okay, which places are in nighttime, meaning which ones are, are sleeping. I, I always like it for that reason. So I can know, okay, this part of the world is sleeping. Uh, this part of the world is still awake right now. Uh, of course, the U.S. is still awake, is awake now. Uh, so I kind of look like use it um, in that respect. And of course you have local time and UTC um, and stuff like that. It tells you sunrise and I think that is sunset, I believe. Um, I hadn't uh, studied it completely yet, but I think that's, uh, I'm not sure what that is. I've not fully explored the, uh, the options yet. But uh, I do like it because the uh, the gray line is uh, nice and uh, clear. It's you know easy to understand. You can tell which locations are starting to um, get dark and things like that. Uh, and I have not uh, explored around with all the different things yet. But there's just so much to look at that you would be um, really just blown away by the um by the look by the whole thing like i could even put a home location if i wanted to um which i have not done yet i have not put a home location uh, mark yet which i will definitely do that i am going to put a home location mark uh on the uh on the map here i am definitely going to do that so my overall impression of the program uh, it's definitely worth it if you're wanting something to uh, um, have on your desktop uh, while you're working DX or um, just wanting to know what's going on in that particular part of the world um, as far as daytime or nighttime, uh, being able to keep track of uh, certain things. It's definitely worth it, especially if you're wanting to um, get the local time for different locations things like that but anyway yeah check out the program a link will be in the description below and uh hope everyone has a good day 73 bye-bye